Tonight, a family and friends are voicing concerns about a loved one's death at the hands of Minneapolis police. It's been two months since Tecle Sundberg was shot. Our Karen Scullin met up with the supporters who are still searching for answers. Karen. Well, Tecle Sundberg's parents are still grieving while also today expressing concerns and questions about exactly what happened the day their son died. Now, it was June 13th that police received a call from a frantic woman who said her neighbor was shooting into her apartment. Now, that was Tecle Sundberg. His family says he was having a mental health crisis. Police arrived and an hours long standoff ensued with Sundberg hanging out the window at times. In police body cam video, right before two snipers fired their rifles, each one says gun, apparently seeing a gun. But in a video apparently shot by a witness on scene, you hear that witness say he sees a knife. Well, now family is wondering if Sunberg was in fact holding a gun when police fired. The question's coming as family is also sharing thoughts about the loss of their son. There's so many things he will never get to do. Dickley, I love you and I miss you. And I'm just so sorry. I want to know what his last minute in detail was on video in what they were talking about. One minute, give me one minute in detail and I think we can figure this out. The Sunbergs say they have only seen portions of video and are calling for all of it to be released to be released at least to them. Now other questions raised today by family and also by community members. Why police wouldn't let Sunberg's father into the apartment to speak with him? Why police couldn't use less, least, less lethal force? Why a mental health or behavioral crisis team wasn't allowed to be part of the negotiations? I did learn or from the policy and procedure manual uh, that that would never be allowed. It just is too risky for someone to be allowed into the apartment with an armed person. Now, I did ask for the BCA for a response to some of these questions. They said they couldn't comment because of the ongoing investigation. We're live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9. Karen, thank you. And